first of all, we got the call back in April that they required uh, personnel to help support Operation COVID Hammer, which is the Michigan National Guard's uh, response to COVID-19. And so we had a group of uh, 10 individuals from the from the group that left the the duty of the band to move into that federal service. I was one of those soldiers that uh, that performed that mission. And it was initially only going to be a couple of weeks to support at Feeding America within a, a Comstock Park. And then that extended to a month and then to six weeks and then to two months. And then it ended up lasting over three months. And so that took us away from our unit. At the same time, we still have to train because you can't have a, a military force that, that doesn't maintain their readiness. And so as this group was sidebarred and we had several trumpet players, you know, some of our key players and the commander, right? <laughs> at this Operation COVID Hammer support, the band worked to uh, improvise, adapt, and really overcome the situations that we were faced in order to support the community in the best way they could. So we retooled. Normally we have a two week annual tour in June where we tour a, a certain region within the state. This year, we were supposed to visit our sister nation of Latvia, and that obviously wasn't able to occur. But we needed to support our community somehow. We needed to uplift them and let them know that, that we were there for them and that their nation was there to support them through this. And so what we did was we took the, the, the number of players that were remaining from the, the other operation that was occurring. We divided them up into two small ceremonial groups, and then they performed at different uh, assisted living centers uh, throughout the community. Um, places that were open, but maybe weren't uh, allowing any kind of internal visitors. And actually they're doing the same thing today where they would go to these assisted living centers, our, our forgotten community, our population of elderly and you know the most um, uh, uh, vulnerable within our communities. And they stood outside of the windows and outside of the doors and the residents were able to roll their window down and we played for them. And then we'd rotate to different positions within the nursing home on the outdoors playing for them. And I tell you what, it really affected everyone in the band so much so that we've even reorganized our group to be able to, to support these types of missions in the future because it was so flexible and uh, it, it really touched the community like we've never seen.